All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed that uh, flax script, all credit goes out to Flying Penguin. The link in the description of the script is uh, down below. Go check it out. Uh, this following video is going to showcase how to actually get it to work and how to get it into your templates. It's pretty simple. It's just like any other SQF. Essentially what it does is it goes into this uh, anti-air vehicle, the Tigris. And what it does is it removes the magazine turrets, it removes the missiles, and then it adds uh, uh, the flex script. And what the flex script does is it fires off um, what you just saw previously. So once you've downloaded the script, you want to go into your uh, documents folder. And you want to go into your missions, and then you want to save the mission that you have uh, on there. We named it uh, FLAC. It's currently named FLAC Test Mission, but for our C-47 uh, World War II one, it was named FLAC Cherno Test. So all we do is just copy and paste our FLAC right here that the, uh, the SQF download gives us. Put it in there, and there you have it. The SQF is in there, ready to go. I have Notepad Plus. It allows you to edit it. Uh, he's actually notated it pretty well of what the different uh, parameters do. And uh, feel free to change whatever you see fit. Uh, you should be able to adjust this to uh, work with any other vehicle. So if you have uh, you know, a World War II Pac-88 gun or some other type of uh, Vietnam era weapon uh, that you want to use, you should be able to easily adjust it to whatever you need. So this is the uh, template that the script has in it. We're just going to speed it up a little bit and uh, put ourselves in here and then put ourselves in the air. Complete these guys because we don't need them. And then all the way down here is this flat guy. We're just going to put him in there. We need, we want some people in the gunner seat. So we're just going to put all those guys in there. Delete all these extra guys. We're going to actually bring him a little bit closer. So we can speed this up. So he is way out there. All right. So we're going to start in the air. He's going to be out there, and he's going to shoot the flak. Uh, and like I said before, all we did, or all that the script does, is it just adds this line of code in into here. And uh, I'll link this in chat for you as well. But it's a pretty simple script, and I definitely like the effect that it's going for. So let's go ahead and play that scenario. So the range of the flak is actually determined by the AI skill level, so if you turn the AI skill level up, the range of the uh, flak will be a little bit more. Also the accuracy is going to be affected by that AI skill. As you get closer and as you slow down, the flak will increase and it'll get closer to you. As you can see I'm not taking any gam damage from it now. Slow down, back around, slow down a little bit. You'll see that I take a little bit of damage. So this is a nice little effect, uh, even if you're not doing a World War II mission, but if you just want to have another game mode on, you just want to deter the uh, air assets from... <laughs> Here I go down. You just want to deter the air assets from entering the certain air spaces or give them a little bit of a scare. If they're going quick, they're not going to get hit by that. If they slow down, if they linger a little bit too long, they're going to end up going down just like I did there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, hit like, subscribe share it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys later.